Hello friends and welcome to another video of Travel Tech. Now in this video I am going to show you how you can stream the live footage from your dash cam on your smartphone. Now as you can see on the screen right now here is my GDPI mini dash cam which is mounted on the windscreen and here on the right side my smartphone is mounted on the smartphone holder and it is currently feeding the live video feed from the dash cam onto my smartphone. Now this dash cam footage I can stream easily and conveniently on my smartphone and it's a live footage so there is no lag and be because the smartphone is connected to the dash cam using a Wi-Fi network the Wi-Fi network works seamlessly well and the video footage is streamed directly onto my smartphone screen so guys before I go ahead and show you some of the features of this live streaming from the DDPi mini dash cam let's just go ahead and show you how exactly you can connect your DDPi mini dash cam onto your Android smartphone so here right now as you're seeing on the screen I have mounted my smartphone onto the dashboard and uh, there is a ddpi mini dedicated app in the google play store and it's even there in the ios store as well so just go ahead and click on the ddpi mini app and once you have turned on the ignition your ddpi mini camera will be turned on automatically and if you i think you can see right now there is an orange light glowing on the uh, dash camera so that indicates that it's working fine and working properly so once that is done you need to open up the ddpi mini dash cam app so once the dash cam app opens up it opens up the social media profile of the dash cam uh, app and most people who upload videos on this app are displayed right here so once that is done you need to click on the device button below here so once you go ahead and click on the device button it is going to show if it's the device is connected or not so currently it is not connected so if I just click on the connection button it is going to ask me to connect to the wireless network which is provided by the dash camera so just go ahead and click on the to set button right here and here it is going to show the available networks the Wi-Fi networks which your smartphone is showing which your smartphone can detect and as you're seeing on the screen right now this is the second uh, uh, Wi-Fi network that is the DDPi mini net Wi-Fi network so if you just go ahead and click on that it is going to connect to the wireless network that is created by the hotspot of the dash camera so once that gets connected so as you can see there's a blue light here so the smartphone has connected to the hotspot created by the camera so let's just go back to the app and right now uh, let's just uh, connect the app properly to the smartphone so once you connect it to the Wi-Fi network going into the Wi-Fi settings just click on the three dotted buttons on top of the screen here and click on the Wi-Fi connection button here and now it is going to connect the camera onto the smartphone so now the camera has connected and this menu has opened up here you can uh, alter some of the settings of these cameras such as the high speaker volume or uh, collision sensitivity like parking monitoring microphone more settings there are many more many many options available in this setup so once that is done what you need to do is just click down and uh, go ahead and click on the connection button right here so once you click on the connection button as you're seeing on the screen right now it has started to live stream the video from the dash camera on top right here the same video which is getting focused on the camera right now is being shown on my smartphone and it shows in a small window right here so there is an option also to capture or download even below this so you can stream the live video feed now actually this is a live video feed and since the car is standing still you are not seeing any motion in the video but as you can see here that's a REC record button showing and there is a light blinking indicating that it's a live feed and it is getting recorded on the dash camera so once this live feed opens up what you can do is you can click on the uh, large screen button right here on the right bottom of the video feed so if you just click on the large screen button it is going to shift into a landscape mode and it is going to turn into a landscape uh, video large video so here as you can see right now the landscape video has opened up and it is currently recording and also this is a live streaming from the ddpi mini dash camera on top right here which i have mounted on my windshield and from that to the smartphone directly coming up on your screen so this is the way guys this is the method you can use in order to connect the smartphone and the ddpi mini dash camera app it's a very simple process it's a very easy process it does not require any sort of an internet connection it just needs a smartphone with a proper wi-fi network so that's all and once you get this done i'll go ahead and show you some of the features and explain to you why this particular feature is extremely important for your car now the one of the most advantageous feature of this is that you can mount the dash cam wherever you want you can even actually mount it on your rear windshield and you can stream the video directly onto your smartphone now this is currently not yet available 
to do in the digipad but i'm trying to get it done so that you are able to stream the video directly on the digipad as well but right now it does currently work with your smartphones either it might be an ios smartphone an apple smartphone or an android smartphone it doesn't matter you can easily stream the video from your dash cam to your smartphone and uh, whenever you are streaming any sort of a video and even some person who is sitting in the rear seat can also monitor while sitting in the back seat comfortably in in his or her smartphone what are the things which are going on in front of the car or in front of the camera wherever you might have mounted it so one of the highlighting features of this uh, uh, streaming facility is that you can click a photo directly from the touch screen of the smartphone there is a capture photo button uh, right available on the screen and actually if you see on the right corner there is a small photograph or small camera icon that is created out so if you just click on that camera button i'll just show you so if you just saw right now a photo was clicked right there and uh, you can use this feature in order to uh, take photographs of some events or something happening in front of the camera it might be some accident or maybe any other event which you want to photograph which has happened in front of the camera wherever you might have placed it so you can use that feature immediately and uh, you don't need to wait for the camera to take the picture now this ddp mini camera has a feature wherein it automatically takes uh, pictures whenever it uh, detects any collision or detects any sort of a abnormal vibrations of the car but if you want to manually take control of that you can do that using this smartphone method and you can click the photo directly and the photo is stored on the smartphone and also on the ddp mini dash cam as well so both the places the photograph which you have taken is stored and you can also direct the download the video and here you can see there is a download option right here below the snapshot button so if you click on that download button the video is directly downloaded onto the smartphone now currently it is streaming and it is being recorded onto the ddp mini dash camera SD SD card which has been placed inside so if you want to download it to your smartphone you can click on the download button and it gets downloaded easily now just to remind you that this connection does not need any sort of an internet connection to work it just needs a wifi because the ddp mini dash cam creates a wifi hotspot and the smartphone connects to the wifi hotspot of the dash cam and you are able to stream the videos now as i said previously you can mount the dash cam anywhere you can mount it even in the rear windshield and if you mount it in the rear windshield you can stream the rear video directly on your smartphone without having to use the reverse view camera or the rear view camera now you do get certain models where you get both front and the rear view dash cams as well so you can use that also and you can stream the video either from the front camera or from the rear view camera there are certain models uh, which are available with both cameras as well and i'm going to give you links for all of those in order to buy them if you are interested so you can go ahead and use this feature in your car if you have a ddp mini dash camera and it's going to be very useful for you whenever you are going out and whenever you're traveling and you need to record something or you need to take a photograph of something now that's a very cool and a very awesome feature now this is one of the most highlighting features which i wanted to show you of this uh, dash camera that you can stream the videos on to your smartphone from the dash camera and it looks amazing and of course i am trying to get this feature on the digipad as well and as soon as i do find out a way to do that i am going to bring that up in my channel so make sure you have subscribed to my channel so that you do not miss that important video so now if you are interested in getting this feature in your car and if you haven't installed a ddp mini dash cam or any da other dash cam as well i advise you and i recommend you to in go ahead and install a dash camera in your car because these days it is extremely important uh, considering the number of vehicles and the uh, number of the road rage incidents happening and accidents happening it is very important that you have a dash cam in your car it works for your safety and it helps you in providing a proper and a useful evidence when things are not going and your your favor and if there was not a mistake committed from your side you can use this dash cam footage as a proper evidence in order to safeguard yourself and your family and of course your car so i recommend you to go ahead and get a dash cam pretty soon for your car and if you are interested in buying this particular dash cam that is a ddp mini dash cam which i am using in my car i am going to give you a link in the description of this video you can go ahead and check out it is one of the cheapest dash cams available you don't have to shell out a lot of money and for the money it is worth because it provides a 1080p videos recording and of course as i'm showing you right now it has some advanced features like smartphone streaming and you can take snapshots and there is also a feature where you can set the camera to take the photo 
photographs by itself whenever it detects a collision or whenever it detects some abnormal vibrations so for the price it provides a real good package and if you are not interested in investing a lot of money over a dash cam and you want a cheap and a regular solution which you can use every day i think you should go ahead for this dash cam as i said the link is in the description so that's it guys i wanted to show you this special feature for today and uh, most of you may not be using this or may not have been even knowing that there is a feature which is available like this so i wanted you guys to have this sort of information and uh, those of you who are interested in getting this for your car can get it done easily and conveniently so this is travel tech signing off and have a really nice day